Hello, good day, guys. My name is Nick, technical analyst with Superport. Today, we shall be looking at a technical analysis on the currency pair Euro GBP. And first, we'll be talking about fundamentals. Before we move right down ahead to technicals, which is purely what we're going to be seeing on the chart. Now, we have seen that Euro GBP has weakened simultaneously with the Euro depreciation, and uh, Euro GBP is resuming its downward trend. Currently, I think closer to uh, its yearly low signaling a potential bearish momentum. Uh, for the peer, while the current trend remains undecided below the 0 0.8700 resistance, awaiting a clear direction, pressure down by failing German yields. Uh, the market awaits ECB President Lagarde's speech and uh, German inflation data on Wednesday for potential developments. Now, the euro is currently experiencing widespread losses and depreciation, which is having an impact on its peers against the US dollar, Japanese yen, and the Swiss franc. The euro GBP peer is showing a resumption of its downtrend, getting closer to its yearly low and indicating a potential bearish momentum with the peer's trend remaining uncertain below the 0 0.8670 zone. While market participants are awaiting ECB President Lagarde's upcoming speech and German inflation data on Wednesday for possible developments that could provide clarity and influence the market's direction. On Tuesday, Spanish inflation data released by the National Statistics Institute may also have an impact on the euro price dynamics. While euro GBP has faced losses as yields diverge between the UK and Germany, uh, Germany yields increased on Monday, while the 10 year bond yield stands at 2.43%, showing a minor decline of 0.08%, while the two year yield is at 2.90%, with losses of 0.5%, while the five year yield is at about 2.46%, uh, with limited losses of 0.08%. Conversely, we have in a British uh, yield, uh, which was uh, Rus. To about a uh, signal in the 10 year bond yield, which reached about 4.37% with gains of 0.87%, and the two year yield stands for 4.5% and 5.5% with gains of 1.35%, and uh, five year yield is at 4.34% with gains of 1.51%. Uh, on Wednesday, the details with our release inflation figures from Germany, which are expected to have further decelerated in May. In that sense, the inflationary figures for the biggest economic block for the Eurozone may have an impact on the Euro against major currency counterparts. Now, we have uh, important levels to watch. According to the daily chart, we have the Euro GBP peer maintains a natural to bearish outlook in the short term, as the BS have seemingly retreated while the market enters a phase of consolidation. However, technical indicators continue to show negativity suggesting the potential for further downward movement. And the event of a decline in the Euro GBP exchange rate, immediate support levels are observed at a 0 0.8600 zone, followed by the yearly low at 0 0.8645 and 0 0.8600 level, on the other hand. Upcoming resistance levels for Euro GBP are anticipated at 0 0.8700 level, followed by the zone at 0 0.8725 and 100 day simple moving average at 0 0.8750. So what to expect from this after we have seen a breakout of the support zone? We are expecting a much more downward push, checking our four hours time frame. Uh, we are expecting at least one more drop or uh, a huge candlestick, of course. And uh, confirming this on daily time frame, we have uh, the supposed trend of the daily star chart to be uh, showing a downward momentum, at least getting to 0 0.8534 to the four possible part. And that's our technical analysis on today's currency peer euro GBP. Now let's move over to the stock markets. Hello, welcome back, guys. And on today's stock markets, we'll be having a look at Starbucks. And um, recently, we have been seeing that headlining that uh, Chinese consumers won't return to pre-COVID spending soon. Uh, a problem from Starbucks as regards this and uh, Chinese consumer spending obviously being a problem for international brands such as Starbucks after an expected 9% rebound in Chinese consumer spending this year. The analysts, uh, we are forecasting an increase of 4.8% next year and 0.5 percentage points lower than before uh, the pandemic. Why? Meanwhile, the number of coffee stores grew by 16% year on year in April, while most local brands have said that uh, Chinese consumer spending won't return to pre-COVID levels anytime soon. A problem for international brands, just like Starbucks. Not only are people more cautious, but they have no more choices. Now, uh, First China has not handed out stimulus checks to consumers as the US and other parts of the world did 
and the week against COVID. Now, second pandemic restrictions and regulatory changes have eliminated 13 million service sector jobs that would have existed prior to COVID. Right? The analysts estimated about 20 million of those jobs are likely to return later this year. And next, the report said that uh, we are expecting to remain 10 million will take longer before our restoration happens, since they are affected by Jensen's Beijing's crackdown on education, internet, technology, property, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, what to expect from this on a technical level? Uh, checking out our one-hour time frame for have a better understanding of what the chart is representing. We are seeing a, a seemingly very important support zone being about to be tested twice, and hopefully, if it breaks out or if it doesn't break out, we're having a push out back to. Uh, the 105.49 zone where it come from. And uh, this is expected to be at about 74 pips, 78 pips, 79, 80 pips, there about from that entry point, which is of course good money. But an expectation of a breakthrough following the news event, uh, which signals a much uh, predicted fall, pre fall after this. We are looking at uh, a new zone, checking the top four hours time frame. A new zone to break off a very important zone of 97, 96, and a uh, free fall to about 95 or thereabout. Of course, as well, which is good money. And that's our technical analysis on today's stock market Starbucks. I remain your host, Nick. Bye for now.